Detective is coming up next, and then at 7.30, Grizzly Tales. This or not? The, come on! How many more do I have to read? More than none. I've read more than none, okay? I've read at least one <laughs> word. Where the group assignment is to compare and contrast the themes of early 20th century authors. You can't compare and contrast one book. I'll speed read them. You can speed read? Yeah, of course. I do it all the time. It's easy. Okay, show me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Blair, would you just go already? Okay. Duh. How much of that do you actually remember? About a word a page. <laughs> this one's getting pretty good so far. How does it go? Hair out, moment shoes end. Piggy swim, many when tour the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm on page 12, and this puppy dog's really coming together. We're so gonna fail this project. Yeah, you get used to it. Um, yeah, I prefer not to. There must be an easier way to get through all these books. Aren't they available on tape? Blair, they're not going to carry that in a high school library. They want us to experience books properly, on our own, from cover to cover. Hey, here we go. Barry White reads the dirty bits from D.H. Lawrence. I stand corrected. Oh, well, I'm done. Wait, what about our assignment? Okay, there's plenty of time to get that over with. All these authors will still be dead when we get back. <laughs> What's with you? We're getting our report cards back today. The semester's up already? Yeah, and if I didn't keep my A average, my dad's gonna kill me, for starters. Hey, you should tell what I tell my parents. Grades have little bearing on actual knowledge. <laughs> you know, some of the brightest people in history didn't do so well in school. That's what you tell them about your grades? <laughs> no. See, actually, I'm kind of the reverse case. I do pretty good in school, but I don't retain anything I learn. <laughs> for example, I once got an A in spelling, right? But now I couldn't even tell you how to spell A. A? But it's, it's just a letter, A. See, you knew that. <laughs> you're a pretty smart guy, even if your grades are in the toilet these days. Hey, they're not in the toilet, all right? They're just not quite up to their usual standards of excellence, probably. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe um, just, you know, um, they're fine. And I'm just, you know, getting worked up over nothing. <gasps> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm sure they're just okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have your report cards! <laughs> I do savor these moments of anticipation, don't you? <laughs> Morgan? Inadequate. Uh, Tanya? Room for improvement. George, look, we have yet to devise an appropriate grading system for you, I'm afraid. <sighs> Roger. Just give it to me straight. I didn't get straight A's, did I? Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Straight B's are fine. I can live with that. Your little midterm slump has led to a very average average, I'm afraid. I don't want to give away any surprises, but let me just say that I hope to 
see an improvement from you before the year is up. <laughs> oh, Blair, Blair, Blair. That's me, me, me. <laughs> I present this without comment. Hey, I got an A! Oh, right. Yeah, in Jim. Yeah, it's still an A. And an F in everything else. I haven't seen this many Fs ever since Flunk Wilson flunked the 10th grade for the 10th time. <laughs> right. Blair, repeating his year is the least of your worries right now. <laughs> I seem to remember an agreement way back when. Back when this early morning after school between classes radio club first began. Do any of you old timers remember this? <laughs> well, let me remind you then. This agreement stipulated that for Radioactive to continue, its members must maintain at least a C average. <laughs> well, guess which one of you just took a dive off the tip of the bell curve? You can't shut us down just because one of us is failing? Oh, I didn't make up the rules. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. <laughs> All the more reason to stick with them then. I'll give you till the end of the week to sign off and shut the station down. <laughs> uh, permanently. <laughs> Guys, I'll fix it. I swear. Okay, I'll, I'll come up with something. Out with it. Out with what? Your plan. What plan? Your plan to save the radio station. I'm sure you and your little friends have hatched some transparent deception to manipulate me into offering a reprieve. <laughs> well, let's hear it. I could use a laugh. No, it was just me alone. And I don't really have a plan. I'm kind of drawing a blank, to be honest. Oh, no, no, no. You are going to have to do so much better than that. We can make a deal. You have nothing I want. Mr. Tall, I never asked you for anything. Today. But this is too important. Not to me, it isn't. Look, all the classes I failed have makeup tests scheduled for anyone who was away or sick or just wasn't there for the exams. So? So I want to take them. All of them and I'll pass this time, I swear, with flying colors. And that way, I'll bring my overall average up to a C, and radioactive can stay on the air. Blair, you were here for the exams the first time around. True. But before the exams, I had a hockey game against West End, a football game against Clearpoint, baseball game against Hilldale, and a basketball game against Riverview. <laughs> I was so busy winning games for Upper Redwood that I had never had a chance to look at any books. And that's why I think you should give me a second chance to rewrite those exams. Well, I'll admit that your sports career certainly does seem to cut into your study time. Exactly. Fine, then. I'll let you take those makeup tests next week. I'll talk to Coach Wilson about having you dropped from all those teams. Oh, right, Mr. Tom. <laughs> what? Well, that's your choice, Blair. Sports or radioactive. You keep your marks up, and we'll talk about getting you back onto the field or the ice or the court or whatever it is. In the meantime, I suggest that you concentrate on those exams, or you'll be losing radioactive as well. 